Alright guys, so Nick here with my review for Suicide Squad. This is going to be a spoiler-filled review, uh, you know, so if you haven't seen the movie, you should probably go watch the movie, or go look up a detailed plot synopsis, which should hopefully be up on uh, Wikipedia by now, but, so overall, I walked out of the movie, um, well, uh, first, let's, let's say, I went into the movie not really expecting a whole lot, to be honest, because the movie had been just critically demolished before it came out, you know, this week, uh, the embargo lifted on Tuesday, and, um, it was just kind of getting destroyed, so so I went into the movie with like basically no expectations like my expectations were so low you know I had been kind of looking forward to the movie off and on prior to the release of the movie I guess like the past maybe year or so like leading up to it I was kind of like oh you know like I hope this movie is good uh, I want you know good DC films and stuff I, it looks like kind of interesting movie it's gonna be like offbeat you know different characters suicide squad okay so this movie it's not great it's not amazing um it's passable it's serviceable it's decent. Uh, there's good stuff in it, though. I'll, I'll talk about the good stuff that I liked in the movie before we get into, you know, the negatives and stuff I have with the movie. So, as I said, again, this is a spoiler-filled review, so I'm going to talk just full spoilers here. So, first off, I want to start with the characters. I really liked Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. I thought she was great. I was pretty much Waller right out of the comics. Like, perfect. Amanda Waller, great. Uh, Will Smith, I thought, brought a lot to the role. He wasn't perfect, you know, dead shot straight out of the pages, but he was, like, damn good in the role. Like, he did a good job, a uh, great actor and stuff, so, you know, I like Will Smith, and I thought he did a really good job with the role. There was some really touching moments between him and his daughter and stuff. Uh, he just had really good chemistry and with the other characters, too. Really funny uh, stuff there, so. He kind of played the straight man of the team. He wasn't, like, joking around and stuff, but he did have some cool, like, jokes here and there with the other characters. I like Margot Robbie, too. I thought she was great as Harley. She wasn't really the star of the film, like, the marketing played her out to be, because I think the main character was actually Deadshot, Will Smith. I think he was definitely the lead in the movie. It was certainly like felt like his movie with these other characters kind of sprinkled in. I actually did kind of like Killer Croc too in the movie. He's another character I like. You know, they didn't really give him a whole lot to do. That's kind of a shame. Uh, like the characters like Boomerang, Katana, Croc, and Diablo don't get a whole lot to do. You'd learn a lot about Diablo's past and stuff. His like, tragic backstory. He, uh, his family was killed uh, because he kind of freaked out, lost his temper, and he accidentally killed them all. So obviously he has a tragic past. I wasn't too much of a fan of Rick Flagg in the movie. He was kind of generic. He didn't really have anything that got me invested in his character. And that's another reason that I didn't like the also character of Enchantress. I didn't like that character too much. I thought there was nothing really interesting about that character. And it's kind of a shame because she's the main villain. Like her and her CGI brother are the main villains. And that to me felt kind of generic. These movies kind of do the whole, oh, they have to save the world because they have to destroy some giant CGI alien and a bunch of faceless mook army that they have. Just felt like that to me, just a retreading of stuff we've seen before. Nothing really new to the play table there, but I really did enjoy the Batman cameos in the movie. I enjoyed uh, some of the stuff we got in the movie and stuff, you know, like the Easter eggs and stuff. Different moments that happened. There were some great shots in the movie. I really loved the Harley Quinn flashback where they showed her in the original Jester costume and Joker with a tuxedo. They recreated the Alex Ross Harley and Joker painting, which I thought was awesome. That was probably one of the coolest moments in the entire movie. Uh, some of the action was kind of cool, like seeing the squad members take out the uh, armies like using their different abilities stuff like that overall i think the movie just has so many problems and i think that it's very apparent that warner brothers came in and just meddled with the entire film because i honestly don't believe that this was the movie that david ayer set out to make it just it doesn't feel like a david ayer movie to me it didn't look like a david ayer's movie to me and i think that he could have done a lot better stuff with the material i think he really actually set out to do that but when you hear about all the drama that happened in the movie you know he, he only had six weeks to write the script and stuff you can definitely just tell like it just comes through when you're watching the film plus i thought that the whole prologue sequence was kind of boring like how they introduced the characters some of the stuff was kind of cool and fun like the harley quinn batman chase and stuff the deadshot thing was cool with batman and but overall it was kind of boring and by the time they actually got to the final battle with the enchantress and her brother i was almost kind of checking out of the movie because it just wasn't like nothing at that point engaged me i like i really like the scene where they're at the bar together though when they had their pep talk meeting and rick flag just kind of laid it out on the table like hey like i know you guys hate me i know you don't want to be here anymore but 
look, like, we can save the world, we can do this, like, I just need your help. I really liked that scene a lot. That was probably one of the best scenes of the film, actually, to be honest. Like, that sequence, even though they had cut a lot of it out, it was really damn good. I thought Ezra Miller's Flash cameo was kind of cool when he stopped Captain Boomerang towards the beginning of the film when they were introducing the different characters. But another flaw that I have with the movie is that it just felt like it had no teeth to it. It felt like this should have been an R-rated film. Like, they were just trying to capture the essence of Deadpool and Guardians, but it almost failed on both fronts to me. It was just like trying to be both, but it was somehow stuck in the middle because the studio didn't want to give it that R rating. Like, it was just not trusting of giving it an R rating because they didn't want to go that hardcore into the film. But I think that had Deadpool come out prior to this movie getting shot, it would have gotten the R rating. And I have no doubt that David Ayer could have probably made a better film if he was allowed to just go unhinged, make it a full on hard R movie because that's the type of realm that he plays in a lot. You know, Training Day, End of Watch, uh, Street Kings, Sabotage is not a great film, but it's not a hard R film. Uh, Fury is another David Ayer film. Like, it just, it felt like it would, he would have been at home better if they had just given him the R rating so he could do freely what he actually wanted to do. And I think the source material is there for it. I think Suicide Squad would have also benefited from that R rating to have it more like harder edged to be that other outcast in the DC Films universe. You know, it's just this darker corner of the film universe, but instead we just have this kind of toned down, poppy, flashy, colorful film. So I think my biggest complaint with the movie is just there's nothing that gets you invested in the storyline. It's just such a generic paint by the numbers, this villain's evil and they want to take over the world and have some giant portal to destroy everything with just a faceless army of zombie things like that's just the villain it's so boring like they could have just done some something more interesting i feel like with this collection of characters they could have had something else done with this and i also didn't like jared leto's joker i thought he did a great performance i guess if it was a character that wasn't the joker but to me he just felt really not like the joker at all so i just didn't enjoy that performance too much but i think you know i like jared leto as an actor i think he's a great actor like great role he's been in stuff he really transforms when he gets into these characters but i didn't like this version of the joker that much so overall i'm going to be giving this movie between a 5 and a 5.5 it's not a great it's not an amazing film it's a passable serviceable film if i had to give it like a kind of movie rating like if you would say like oh buy it go full price and see it at night or pay for a matinee or rent it or buy it on blu-ray or something like that i would say it's a matinee type of movie like, you don't have to go spend $20 to see it in Super IMAX 3D. It's, it is a matinee film to the T. So if you guys got a chance to check Suicide Squad out this weekend, let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you feel like me and were you kind of in the middle? Just kind of a meh film overall. And what did you actually like about the movie? Like, who was your favorite character in the movie? Like I said, I loved uh, Amanda Waller. Deadshot was cool. Harley was great. Some of the other side characters I didn't really mention too much. I like Boomerang a lot. He just wasn't in the movie too much. I like Killer Croc too he wasn't in the movie too much and I didn't know why Katana was in the movie because she was barely utilized she had no lines of dialogue almost and she just kind of was in the background in a lot of shots so that was a di bit disappointing but I've said my piece in the movie and I want to hear what you guys think down in the comment section below and if you're stopping by for the channel for the first time hit that subscribe button down there to stay up to date on all the latest content that we provide here at the Hyper Network my name is Nick and I will catch you guys next time